recent years, genetic testing has become more and more common. Genetic testing does have its risks, such as loss of privacy, psychological distress, and even test errors. There are also many benefits, although it is important to understand that those benefits are limited. One type of genetic testing, called carrier screening, can reveal whether people have an increased risk of having a child with certain genetic disorders. There is also genetic testing for the developing fetus to find out if the fetus has such a disorder. Pre-implantation diagnostic testing of fertilized embryos is used to ascertain which ones are free of a particular genetic disorder that runs in the family, for example, cystic fibrosis, and thus suitable for transfer to the mother's womb. Many genes and genetic markers have been identified for both rare and common diseases. Few of these diseases are treatable or curable, although some may be preventable, such as biomastectomy, when the BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene for breast cancer is present. In some instances, screening a child can lead to appropriate treatment. For example, if a child is born with PKU, a metabolic disorder caused by an enzyme deficiency, severe mental retardation can be avoided by limiting the child's intake of the essential amino acid phenylalanine, found in many protein-rich foods and in the artificial sweetener NutraSweet. Even when a genetic disorder is not treatable or curable, a genetic test can be beneficial. For genetic disorders such as Huntington's disease, whose symptoms emerge late in life, the results of genetic testing can provide an opportunity to make important decisions for the future. An important component of genetic testing is genetic counseling, a process whereby a trained and licensed medical professional provides information about results of a genetic test, risks of genetic disorders occurring in the family, available options for decision making and treatment, and appropriate referrals. To find a local genetic counselor, contact the National Society of Genetic Counselors. Future genetic research can enhance our understanding of the complex interaction between genes and environmental factors. As our understanding of the genetic influences on diseases increases, we will be able to identify individuals' risks and develop new and more efficient drugs. Other future benefits include personalized medicine, the individual tailoring of medications, and the development of dietary and lifestyle recommendations on an individual basis. The hope is that physicians will be able to help people take measures to prevent illness instead of waiting until symptoms occur. The idea of personalized medicine to detect people's individual health risks and tailor therapies has been around for a long time. However, there are now several companies offering personalized genetic testing directly to consumers, although the activity is unregulated and some companies do not offer genetic counseling or use certified laboratories to do the testing. And remember, it is often difficult to distinguish accurate reports in the media about new genetic tests from those that are false or misleading. Popular media often presents oversimplified and sensationalized stories about genetic research and its benefits. To find factual information reported by geneticists or professional organizations, visit the American College of Medical Genetics website. Also visit the Personal Genome Project Study Guide website to learn more about the benefits and risks of genetic testing, and to find lessons and practice tests to help you pass the Personal Genome Project entrance exam. You've been Reading Between the Genes with Katrina Voss.